And the Russians now have a reason for their paranoia. They are scared right now that they could be under attack. And here's one of the reasons. This is a, a map of the former USSR, which after World War II had taken control of countries like Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and so on. And then we have here the Eastern Bloc countries, Poland, Romania, East Germany, and so on. And this is the, what was called the Iron Curtain. And you'll notice here, the USSR, through their allies here, had direct access to the Mediterranean and access to the Atlantic through the Straits of Gibraltar, or from their bases in the Black Sea through the little straits there at Turkey, very narrow straits. Then, in 1949, NATO was created, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The US and Canada uh, are not on this map, but basically it's the United States protecting countries that sign up with it. And the, the deal is that if you're a member of this organization and somebody attacks you, it's like they're attacking everybody in the organization. It's a promise to come to each other's defense should any one of them be attacked. So here we have NATO in 49, and then we've got uh, Turkey and Greece added in 52, and then in 55, we've got West Germany and Spain in 82, and then in 1990, East Germany, the Iron Curtain retracted closer to the USSR, and Albania, a few years before, uh, left the Warsaw Pact countries, the Eastern Bloc countries, and so the Russians lost their direct access to the Mediterranean. And then we've got 1990 to 91, the Warsaw Pact imploded, and all of the former Eastern Bloc countries that were allies of the USSR are now doing trade deals and stuff with the West. And then in 1999, the USSR implodes and they lose all of the former territories that were just like states or provinces of the USSR. They now become independent countries and former Eastern Bloc countries of Poland and Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, and former territories. This was part of the USSR, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and now they've changed sides. They're allied with the Americans now. And then some more countries in 2009. So this is what it looks like today. This is what it looked like in 1949. And look at the buffer zone that Moscow had from everywhere and look at where it is today. The threat is now right on their borders. And to get to the Atlantic from any port here, they have to go from the Black Sea through these straits that are now monitored by NATO countries. So their subs and their warships, and they retained this little area right here is Russia, but they've got to go through those straits at Denmark that are also monitored by NATO. And it takes nine more hours now to get a ship from this little piece of Russia right there to the Atlantic than it used to. So, they've got a good reason to think they're under threat. Russia wants war. Look how close they put their country to our military bases. <laughs> they feel surrounded. Now, just two months ago, Putin did a press conference. We, uh, the United States, left the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty of 1972 in 2004. We left that treaty, the whole thing, the treaty dissolved, and, uh, and we are now installing anti-ballistic missiles in Romania. And he's giving this warning. And you know what's really funny about this is the shoe is now on the other foot. Back in 1967, Lyndon Johnson met with uh, Premier Kosygin, or Kosygin uh, of Russia, and Russia had just created anti-ballistic missiles and an installation to protect Moscow. And the problem with uh, that is that our response was, well, what we'll have to do is just create more offensive weapons. We're not going to invest in anti-ballistic missiles. They're very expensive. They don't work that well. And we developed things like the uh, 
multi-independently targetable re-entry vehicles, the MIRV warheads, where we put 10 nuclear bombs on one missile, each one 24 times the power of Hiroshima. And so you've got 240 times the Hiroshima atomic bomb coming in, and 10 of them are independently targetable. And that was to overwhelm the anti-ballistic uh, missile defense system of Moscow. And so now Putin is saying the same thing that, uh, that um, Secretary of Defense Robert Mac McNamara told the Premier of Russia back in 1967. So the shoe is on the other foot. But we have just started a major arms race here, and, they're, and uh, we are deploying these anti-ballistic missiles in Romania. And if you remember that map, Romania is much closer to Moscow than it is. We're deploying them to prevent the Iranian nuclear threat. And we now have a, uh, a treaty with them and inspections going on. So the nuclear threat really doesn't exist that much. So if you want to learn more about that, come to the breakout ses session. But look at what he's saying here. How can you not understand that the world is being pulled in an irreversible direction? From what I can see, we are in grave danger. I don't know how to get through to you anymore. I don't know how this is all going to end. I think this is gravely dangerous. I not only think it, I am assured of it. And you know, this is the president of the Russian Federation in a press conference, and it didn't get aired to Western media. You've got to go to YouTube to find this. No major media outlet covered this. It's shameful that our population doesn't know what's going on on this planet. And we've got a lot of the same problems happening with China.